Perfect blackjack skills without knowing exactly how to bet is just a waste of your time, or even worse, a waste of your bankroll. But how do you know how much to bet at each true count? In this video, I'm gonna show you how an optimized bet spread can help you both with game selection and in maximizing your profits at the blackjack table. I'm Colin from Blackjack Apprenticeship, and before I was running Blackjack Apprenticeship, I was playing on and running blackjack teams that have beaten casinos for roughly $4 million, and one of the roles I had on these teams was putting together optimized bet spreads. In our early days, we just mimicked what we found in the blackjack book that we read on card counting, but as we got betting software, we got more sophisticated. And what we realized is that not all games and not all bet spreads are created equal. There were certain places we were playing that even with a big bet spread, it was an absolute waste of time. We were gambling at best. Whereas other casinos, if we really tweaked and refined our bet spread, we could have a bigger impact on our win rate or expected value than we ever realized. And like me, countless aspiring card counters put together all the technical skills, the basic strategy, the counting, the true count, the deviation, said they just head to the casino and use whatever bet spread they come up with in their head, one to five, one to 10, one to 20, not knowing really what they're doing and the impact it's having on their EV and their risk. So to demonstrate, I'm gonna tell you about a guy, we're gonna call him Bob. I don't wanna use his real name, but Bob trained through Blackjack Apprenticeship. He trained at home. He even came to one of our boot camps. And not only did he come to a boot camp, he passed the test out. If we have 20 people at a boot camp, 10% of them, maybe two of them pass the test out. And to pass it, you have to have a perfect game. And he had a perfect game. I hear from him a year later. And he says, Colin, I've been playing full time. I've played 900 hours with back offs and travel and all that. And I don't have any profits to show for it. Now, 900 hours, that's crazy. You should have profits after 900 hours. You should have profits after 500 hours, unless you're just having some horrific losing streak. I knew something was up. And so I started digging in, asking questions about where was he playing? How was he betting? What kind of conditions was he playing in? And I started to develop a picture of what was going on. To kind of show you both what was wrong as well as how we fixed it, I'm gonna bring you over to some betting software to demonstrate. You need to be able to analyze how every condition and how you bet is impacting your EV and your risks. This is our bank software. It's called the ProBank software and it comes with our Blackjack Apprenticeship membership, but you can use CVCX or CV data, which comes from QFIT. Let's talk about Bob's situation. He had a $25,000 bankroll and he said he was using a one to 10 bet spread with a $25 betting unit. And as I dug in, he told me, the specific casinos he was playing. And so I was able to look at the EV. And what was interesting is that a professional card counter friend of mine had also been playing in this part of the country that same month. And he said, oh no, I didn't play that place. I went in there, they were cutting off a little bit more deck penetration. The rules weren't that good. So the penetration was a little worse than, you know, I would recommend for Bob. And the rules were okay. They had resplit aces, hit 17 game. He was playing through negative counts. So you can see here is this expected value. It's just dropping. His risk is going up, but also he was playing a little bit more crowded tables. We'll say four players on average. Well, that's going to drop his rounds per hour. As I'm starting to get this story from Bob, I see, look, his EV with a $25,000 bankroll is $10 an hour. His risk is sky high. And you know, what it's gonna to take to get to the long run is just in incredible. It's just not advisable. Here's our variance visualizer. After 900 hours at such a poor quality game, you know, anything can happen. It's not absurd to, you know, like, like in this situation to just not even really have profits after, after all these hours. He needs to have better game selection. And so I told him, look, the region you're playing in, there's a lot of casinos you can play, but you can't play some of these ones that you are. And so I knew that, that in that same part of the country, there were games that had much better deck penetration and even had surrender. Okay, so things are starting to look better, but still he needs to avoid those bad negative counts. And he also needs a, a more optimized bet spread. There are things he could do like, look, we barely have an edge at a true one. I would wait for true two. And if there's other players at the table, it's ideal. Don Schlesinger has pointed this out. It's better to play two spots when you have the advantage with other players at the table. You know what? His risk is below 1%. So he could even bump up his bets here 
in those higher counts, he could, he could bump up sooner. I'll bet he could go up to 200. Let's find out. Yeah, 1.2% risk of ruin. And also, really try to play with fewer players. If he's playing with two players on average, what this is going to do to his rounds per hour, it's a big impact. And now he went from, what, 10 bucks an hour to $87 an hour. 1% risk of ruin and a much shorter long run overall. Well, here's the next thing for Bob. I said, look, if you're playing better games and more optimized bet spread, you actually have the bankroll to play even better games. There are regions in the country that have better penetration, better rules. And look what this did. It bumped up the EV to 119, but if the risk is below 1%, he can even be more aggressive about his betting. He could do something more like betting 100 at three. He's still under, he's at 1% there and $130 an hour. Um, and things are looking even better for him. So what happened with Bob? I told him, he thanked me. He said, you know what, you're right. I have not been very selective about where I'm playing. I'm falling into some of the traps that I knew not to do, like more crowded tables and playing through negative counts and playing poor deck penetration, poor rules. I hear back from him a few months later. And he said, Colin, I played 200 hours and I'm winning over $100 an hour since then. Game selection, an optimized bet spread took someone like Bob from $10 an hour to $130 an hour simply by knowing what games to attack and how to attack them. Even with good game selection and an optimized bet spread, there is still variance to the game of blackjack as a card counter. And to us, variance is a four letter word. So to learn how to minimize your variance, check out this video.